previously on Finding a literary agent and querying them and then getting a request and an offer takes 37 million years. And I just got an email and I looked and it's from the agent. Feeling dread, feeling dread. Okay, I'm trying to breathe. Um, freaking out a little bit. So... I was sitting over here trying to write and I just got an email and I looked and it's from the agent. She's getting back to me. I don't know how I want to do this. I don't know if I want to like show you my reaction because I'm terrified that it's going to be like a no <laughs> and then I'll have it on camera, which I'll be fine, but uh, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. <laughs> I think I'm just nervous. Feeling dread, feeling dread. Okay, it's like a really long email, and to me that doesn't seem like it's a good thing. Damn it, it is a no. She's stepping aside. Yeah. I'm gonna read through all of this. Um, she's basically saying no, and I'm gonna, she left some editorial feedback, so I'm gonna look over that and then I will update. I read over everything. Um, I would say I'm reasonably upset obviously like this kind of sucks uh, i feel really bummed to be caught to be honest um like i don't feel like i wasted time because i feel like the book that i did revise is even better but even then i was just like dang this is like the farthest i've gotten <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Long time no see. I'm filming this clip because I have news, even though I <laughs> feel like death. I currently have a little illness called COVID. <laughs> of course, I would never be lucky enough to be one of those like asymptomatic people. Um, I'm on week two and not better, but not worse, which is important because a lot of people have it a lot worse than I do. <laughs> but still so I have an agent call today after like six months of not updating you because nothing much had happened you know besides getting a few more rejections a few more requests I got an email saying someone wanted to talk to me today and I'm um I, I'm much more excited than the energy level that I have going on right now this email was a little bit more I want to talk to you about your career trajectory that you see yourself having and I want to tell you more about myself and my agency and what we can offer you and <clears throat> while trying to temper excitement because you know I feel like you should always go into a call into a call expecting like an R&R &R, this feels much more like an offer call anyways just like last time I'm gonna take you guys along with me film the call, give you my reactions afterwards, and um, just kind of chat. Okay, back to my death. <sighs> okay, folks, here we are. So I've got my glass witch notebook that I'm gonna be taking all my notes in, and <laughs> all my crystals because we are manifesting success. And I got some echinacea tea brewing so that my throat can be nice and soothed. <sighs> and we're ready, we're ready to go. Let's do this. Hello? Yo, girl, got an offer. <laughs> First thought, I am drenched in sweat. 
Uh, we're also gonna take like a five hour nap after this. COVID's like, you thought you were gonna get through this without a hot flash. That was amazing. This agent is lovely. She offered, she really liked my book. Um, her notes were so minute. Like I just, she gets it. She gets it. She just wants like a few little clarity things fixed. Probably a line edit. She was like wonderful and bubbly. And like, I feel like our personalities like meshed really well, which is good. Um, and she's just like very, very passionate about what she does. And I love that. I love that someone so passionate about their career and about this book wants to work with me. <laughs> oh my gosh, my, I'm getting a fever. I can feel it, I can feel it. So now I'm gonna go like take a cold shower and like try to like chill. <laughs> Maybe take some NyQuil, nap for seven or eight hours. I'm gonna have to notify everybody else of my fool and my query and tell my friends I got an offer. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm gonna be agented in like two weeks, one way or another, I'm gonna be agented. It's finally paying off, you guys. It, all of this hard work, this whole documentary you guys are watching, like, wow. I'm trying to soak it in. I deserve this. I've worked so hard. And wow, that's amazing. This is, this is great. <laughs> oh, wow. Today <laughs> shall live in infamy. Okay, I need to chill out and go <laughs> die. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that I am going to look progressively more nasty <laughs> during this vlog, uh, at least until this virus leaves my body. <laughs> but it's been a couple days. Uh, I just wanted to update you on what I've been up to. It's usually courteous to let all of the other agents who have either your query or your book uh, to let them know that you have an offer so that they can like enter a counter offer if they want. Luckily, I got like <laughs> four rejections literally the day before um, this agent offered. <laughs> so that made things a little bit <clears throat> more easy for me. I have not sent out any new queries this year either. I was actually gonna start doing that this week. That was my, my weekly goal uh, I was gonna do, but I don't need to now. So I only had two queries, two agents with a query that I had to notify. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five. We didn't have that many emails to send out. I haven't heard from anyone yet. I don't know if I will. I don't necessarily know how I would feel about getting another offer. That sounds scary. And like, I'll have to make a decision that I don't wanna make. Just everything about this process has been difficult. It'd be nice if like, it was smooth sailing from here out. <laughs> oh, really quickly, I forgot to mention too. I went ahead and during the call, I asked some questions. You should always have a list of questions to ask agents on a call, even if it's just for an R&R. &R. But one of the questions was to ask for ref references, both someone who that agent has sold for and not sold for. So I asked for that and she went ahead and gave them my email and I had two authors email me and I sent them like four or five questions just basically asking about transparency, her communication style, if they're satisfied overall with their submission process, the agent's editorial process, and if they found that, you know, to their liking, things like that. I'm really excited Baby Addie like made it. Like I knew that book could not have been so easy to write for no reason. Like she was just a joy. I've never written a book so easily that flowed so well. Revision was a breeze. Like, uh, I knew she couldn't be so perfect for nothing. I can't believe I made it. It doesn't seem real yet. Like, I mean, it does, but it doesn't. I just, I, I feel like, okay, so I was talking to a friend and I was like talking about the imposter syndrome that I feel now, where it's like, <laughs> did the, did I just like hoodwink this agent? Like, because, Everybody else is like rejecting, right? Even though I'm getting requests, they're all turning into rejection. So it's like, did I hoodwink her? A doubt creeps in and you're like, it has to be something because you did not just get here. You did not. I feel like fraud. <laughs> I feel like I don't belong here. Like I just, I don't know. The agent's gonna wake up one day and be like, ooh, regret this. Let's cut this girl loose. I made it. I can't believe I made it. I feel like there has been some mistake. <laughs> 
basically is how I'm feeling um, and I'm just hoping that no one realizes the mistake and they just kind of like you know let me coast until I hit that bestseller list <laughs> and then they're like oh how'd she get here we have no idea who is this girl <laughs> on the situation uh it's the 26th so it's officially two weeks since i got my offer and right now i'm getting ready to send my acceptance email oh my gosh just an update on what happened like with all the other agents both of the agents with the fools got back and both rejected <laughs> one actually this morning none of the uh, none of the agents who had my queries got back to me at all <laughs> so and that's fine i'm real excited okay let's send it breathing 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 i'm still so terrified that she's gonna get this and be like who is this girl like this was an accident i did not mean to send it to you i thought i was talking to somebody else <laughs> also i was like really scared that i was using too many exclamation points and i was like oh my gosh she's gonna know i'm unprofessional and then like drop me like it's hot do you see i'm breaking out <laughs> why why she already offered there's nothing happening i'm just an anxious mess. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's sent. It's sent. Okay, she got back to me like really fast, which makes me feel like she was like waiting around for my email, which she probably wasn't. She's like a very busy woman and like doing her thing, but like it makes me feel very special because she like immediately responded and was really excited and like she didn't drop me because I used a ton of exclamation points. But anyway, like, you know, after being like really excited and all this stuff, she sent me like a little root literary. Oh, I just said who it's by. I guess I am gonna eventually be talking about who I'm repped by anyway. So it's Samantha Fabian at root literary. Root literary. <laughs> I die a little bit every time I think about that. I'm like, oh my gosh, root. Like, who am I? I I cannot work with Root. That is far too good of an agency. Like, anyway, anyway, <laughs> I'm very excited about this, obviously. Um, but Samantha went ahead and sent me over like a little Root literary form to fill out that just had like my basic like legal information. And then she is going to be sending over the agency agreement and contract. And she said that once that is uh filled out and sent over like i can like announce <laughs> publicly that i have an agent and like it's just a little bit wild i just didn't think it would all be like happening so fast i mean granted i've been going through this for like years at this point <laughs> and as i'm speaking with you i literally just got an email that is the uh the agreement so i need to look over that it's real y'all it's real like over two years in the making two books probably over a hundred rejections at this point i haven't tallied it up but i'm sure a rejected r and r like finally like and this is the thing here's me throwing some wisdom at you right <laughs> if i can stress anything about this whole process and what i have learned and like wisdom i want to impart to you all is that this is a marathon not a sprint and by marathon, I mean years and years and years. And I think that's what makes a difference with people who make it and people who don't. People who realize that it might take multiple books. It might take multiple years. But if you keep going and you keep improving and you don't give up, like, you'll get there, right? <laughs> so that's it. I'm going to fill this out. And when I hit send, I am officially an agented author. Hi, okay. 
Sorry, I'm absolutely all over the place. I looked over the contract myself. I feel like I understood most of it, but I sent it off to my like lol friend <laughs> because uh, she like knows all the terms and is like, you know, a legitimate lawyer and like offered to look it over for me without a fee. Very, very generous. I'm just waiting for her to get back to me to sign the contract so it's like official. <laughs> um, but I've been emailing back and forth with Samantha in here. I want to put this camera down because my arm's starting to hurt. I realized that me and Samantha never really talked about like when we were gonna go on sub. Like she said in our in my call that the book was really clean. She felt like it just needed a few little polishing things. It is currently right now January 26th and she thinks like health permitting for me that we will probably go on submission at the end of February. Four weeks you guys. Four weeks and like, whoo, whoo, sweaty, okay. This is wild to me. I'm, my hair is bothering me so bad. I have to fix it. I'm so sorry, I'm so gross. You guys are used to this by now. You've been watching me literally on this vlog for two years, you know I'm disgusting. Um, okay, <laughs> like 20 days ago, 20 days ago, I was getting ready and you know, it was like Christmas time and I was getting ready my very last round of queries for the glass witch. I was like, okay, this is it. I've queried all of the agents. I've got like 50 to 60 rejections at this point. It is time to retire the glass glass witch and shelve her and like work on Tobe and throw everything into that and making it perfect so I can query that. And I was gonna submit my last round sometime this month in January, my last, my very, very last round of queries because the glass witch was dead, like she just didn't make it. And it hurt my heart and it sucked. I knew it was a great book, but it just like timing or luck or something was not on my side. So I was just like, you know what, it's fine. It's fine, we're just gonna put her to bed. We're gonna send out these last few queries and that's it. <laughs> that was 20 days ago, 20 days not even three weeks. And now I'm going on submission to publishers, possibly in February. Like, <laughs> when they say publishing is a wild ride and the timelines are wild, like they aren't kidding. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Life is wild, y'all. Like, oh my gosh. My little baby girl made it. My little baby Addie, she made it. Oh my Oh my gosh. Oh, I just want her to sell now. Now I have to start manifesting that I'm gonna sell a book. <laughs> oh my gosh, like, oh, I just want you guys to read her. Like, how I just, I want, I want, oh, I don't know, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, I'm so shocked. I can't believe this is my life. Like, how? Good morning, friends. It's the next day. So my lawyer friend did get back to me and um, she looked it over and she said like, you know, other than not understanding like the industry standards for commission rates and stuff, which are listed out in the contract, she said everything looked pretty good, pretty boilerplate. There was nothing, you know, that was like red flaggy, which I didn't expect there to be. Uh, so I'm getting ready to sign the contract and send it back in. I feel like I this is the moment <laughs> That we've been waiting for and i should have some like really dramatic music as i like slow-mo like <laughs> oh it's like very fancy when you type in your name it like types in like a fancy script font so it like makes me look like i'm like signing the declaration of independence all right thanks for submitting your document you'll receive a copy in your inbox shortly okay <laughs> i guess i made it to it like <laughs> I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> How do you end this when, when I've been filming this for like two years? Well, I guess that's it. I don't know. Um, I think I will like wrap up this video in another clip. Hi, my friends. So I'm getting ready to film my agent announcement video. <laughs> what is life? Um, and I just thought I would like turn on the camera before I was like fully ready and just chat with you guys just about like this whole journey and like try, try to wrap this video up. I have literally no idea like how do you end something <laughs> that is this massive? I have no idea. I think we could try to like reflect maybe on 
what I've learned, what this process has shown me. I love that I did this. Like I love that I have this footage to look back on and see my progress and see my entire journey. I highly recommend, even if you guys like don't have an AuthorTube channel, if you just journal your experience, maybe even if you're like insta into Instagram and pictures and you just like, I don't know, find some way to document this process because it means so much to me to have this footage to look back on and just be like, wow, I did it. Like that Lindsay who was really upset <laughs> two and a half years ago, like we made it girl, like hang in there, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I guess another reflection too would just be to like hang in there. Like even when you don't think things are happening, maybe behind the scenes they are and you just don't know, really just don't give up. Like I, I've said this so many times now, but I really think the difference is like between people that make it in traditional publishing and people that don't is the ones that make it did not give up. They kept writing, they kept persevering, and they just kept improving and kept going. Uh, that's just it, that's, <laughs> that's the difference. So don't be that person that gives up. And a lesson I've learned, uh, well definitely with like the failure, in quotation marks, of when the sea came for us, I would say to make sure you're querying in very small batches. Uh, that worked really, really well for me with the Glass Witch. On average, I think my rounds with the Glass Witch were like five queries. And with When the Sea Came For Us, I was doing like 15 at a time. And I think that was just too big. Uh, I will talk about this, I think, later in a video where I compare my query of When the Sea Came For Us to the Glass Witch, or maybe in like my query stats video, I'm not sure. But um, like halfway through querying When the Sea Came For Us, I changed the query. <laughs> and I just keep thinking like maybe if I had queried five agents per round instead of 15, like think of how many more agents would have gotten to read the book because I made a better query. So uh, small rounds are <laughs> very good. I also feel like this process has taught me that there is like a beauty and rejection. In this situation, I think everything happened for a reason, right? So the fact that I got an R&R &R and it got rejected, um, that really sucked. But I think like, what if I wouldn't have gotten my agent if I hadn't have gotten that R&R &R rejected? You know what I mean? Like maybe the revision that I did with that R&R &R agent is like the thing that really, really grabbed Samantha's attention and made her love me and love my book. So like I had to go through all of that crap <laughs> to be able to get like my perfect agent. When you're in it and it sucks, you don't think about that. But like upon reflection, it's like, yeah, like, I'm so glad all, the, all of that happened. I actually need to start filming my announcement video. I believe next up, the next video you guys will see is my uh, reading the Glass Witch query. So you can like see the query that got me an agent. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Nervous, nervous, excited, nervous. <laughs> I guess I will see you guys on the other side.